I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits. Here is a question from one of our viewers. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. We need to evaluate limit of following functions. The first one here is limit when x approaches a for 1 over x minus a and the second one is limit when x approaches a for x minus a divided by x square minus a square. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. While in both the questions we do have a restriction that x is not equal to a, right? Limits is approaching, right? So even if the function is not equal to that value or cannot be equal to that value, we can still find the limit, right? So let's consider them one by one and check our result. So the first one here is limit when x approaches a for this particular function. Now, we can find the left side and the right side limit. So we'll break this down as limit when x approaches a from the left side. That minus means from the left side for the particular function, which is 1 over x minus a, right? So what you notice here is that if x is very close to a, but from the left side, then the value approaches negative infinity. On the other hand, if you find the limit when x approaches a from the right side for the same function, 1 over x minus a, since x value is slightly higher than a, we are still approaching infinity, but towards the positive side. Now these two values, as you can see, are different, right? So, so we can say that limit x approaches a from the left side for the function x minus a is not equal to limit when x approaches a from the right side for this particular function. And so we say it does not exist. Perfect. So that is how you're going to answer this particular question. Now in part b, what do you notice? is if I substitute a in the numerator and also in denominator, what do I get? I get a situation which is 0 over 0. Now that is called indeterminate. In the first case, the situation was we got 1 over 0, right? If I substitute a, which is undefined, right? So, so that was, does not exist. Did you see that part? So if you get this kind of a situation, then the limit will not exist. However, if you get this kind of a situation, it may exist. So in this case, we do have a condition and it may exist. Now let's see if it really exists or not. So what we can do here is that we can factor. So we get limit x approaches a for x minus a over x plus a times x minus a. You could factor the denominator difference of squares. Now the numerator cancels with one of the factors and what we are left with is limit x approaches a for 1 over x plus a. Now if I substitute a, what do I get? I get 1 over a plus a, which is 1 over 2a, correct? So in this case, limit exists and its value is 1 over 2a. You get the idea, right? So, so we know that the limit as x approaches a for x minus a over x square minus a square is indeed equal to 1 over 2a, right? So it exists. So it is important to note that if we have a case of indeterminate, then the limit may exist. Perfect. So with that, we'll move forward and also take few examples where we'll analyze situations with different kinds of indeterminates. I hope that helps to understand the concept. Feel free to write your suggestions and views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. 
Thanks for watching and all the best.